Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, the pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning we'll be in Exodus chapter 18 and verse 14. Today, as we think about advice, sometimes we give advice, sometimes we receive advice. Sometimes the advice we get is not too good, and sometimes perhaps the advice we give is likewise not too good. But there are times when we get advice from people that truly have our best interests at heart. And this is the case with Moses. Moses had uh, met his father-in-law, Jethro, who had come to see him. And Jethro was very observant. He was from the outside looking in, and he noticed that Moses was counseling the people, that he was spending a great deal of his time, a matter of fact, most of his time counseling the people. In verse 14, he said, So Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did for the people. He said, What is this thing that you're doing for the people? Why do you, uh, why do you alone sit and all the people stand before you from morning until evening? So he asked Moses a question. He said, I've noticed what you're doing, Moses. You're counseling the people all day long from morning till evening. But why are you doing it alone? And that is the key. That is the thing that you and I have to remember. We sometimes need to ask ourselves why we do what we do alone. Sometimes we need help. I know the truth is there are times when it's easier to just simply do something yourself and get it over with. But there are also times when we need help. If you go a little bit further in the text, you'll discover that Jethro told Moses that the thing that he was doing was going to wear him out. In other words, it was going to exhaust him emotionally. It was going to exhaust him mentally and physically. And he needed some help. And so Moses was willing to listen to his father's uh, father-in-law's advice. And he put people in groups and uh, spread them out. And he put people in charge of each group. Some would listen to tens, hundreds, and, and so on. But the most difficult problems would come to Moses, and Moses would deal with them. But he was able to redistribute this thing around and allow everyone else to help him bear the burden. The bottom line is this, friends. Sometimes you and I need help when it comes to bearing the burden. We need to remember that we cannot bear it alone or we should not attempt to bear it alone. There are times when we need to trust other people. And sometimes it's hard to trust other people because we have trusted them and they've let us down. But that's not a reason not to trust again. You may trust someone again and they may let you down again. But eventually you'll find someone that you can trust with an unwavering trust, with a, with a trust that you have no question about. You know that they have your best interest at heart and also the best interest of others. Today, my friends, let people help you in this journey we call life. Let people help you in ministry. Let people help you in your, in your work. Let people help you in all that you do because you will benefit from it and it will make your life much fuller and much happier. You will find peace that passes all understanding. Remember, friends, God has never called us to be a loner. He has never called us to do it all by ourselves. First and foremost, trust God. And secondly, trust the people that God puts in your life to help you. Remember this today, my friends, that the Lord Jesus loves you and I love you too. Please pray with me. Father, we thank you for the people that you put in our lives to help us. Today, I ask you to help us trust them. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, my friends, until we meet again.